What's going on, ladies and gents of the extra net? Tyler here with Random Automotive. Today we're going to work on replacing the headliner in the truck. As you can see, it's in a little condition to be yet desired. It's kind of a tan color. I'm putting a gray color in it. If you notice, the dash is gray, but the top is tan. Either way, we're going to take it out. So what we'll have to do to start is everything that's holding the headliner in, we're going to have to pull out. You can see some mold right there. That's great. Look at that. You can see what color it was underneath. We'll really see it in a minute. Anyway, so we've got to remove the visors, the console, the oh crap handle, those covers, and probably pull back these plastic uh, pillars here. So let's get started on that. Okay, so I've got the visor pulled back. On most vehicles, we, we're going to be doing this on a Dodge Ram, but on most vehicles, these should come off really easily. Um, this one's exceptionally easy. You can see this stuff just peels off. Um, and it looks like they stapled it right there at one point. So we're going to fix all that today, original adhesive. So in the Dodge, you've got three Phillips head screws and a Phillips head screw on the little clip. Two on this, three there. We'll have to figure out about the old crap handle. Two there. I'm sure there's a little clip that holds that in. And you can see little clips kind of in random spots. So uh, let's get started on taking some of this stuff out. Okay, so I've removed all attachments that basically hold this in. Any sort of pieces of the pillars, pull the pillars back, the plastic covers. I gotta pull that one back still. All these little clips just come out. You can pry them and then get like a little pair of pliers or something, pull them out. Try not to damage them too much unless you want to. Uh, of course, if you wanna buy new ones, then don't worry about it. Interior lights almost always just pop out. You can almost pull on them and pop them out and there's a clip that holds the screw on there. So that's out. Center console is out. Two screws. Not a big deal. I can't be specific, guys, because this is one truck. I mean, every vehicle is different. But if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Um, so what you'll do now is we're going to take the headliner and kind of pull it back. And watch out for the dust along the weather stripping all the way back you can see this is a full material one some of them have plastic on the top there so i'm going to work on this a little bit guys and get this out okay so a little bit of finagling i was able to get it out of the uh, truck there i had to turn it sideways and come out at this angle see most of the time when they build vehicles i've talked to a lot of people it's actually before they put the back window in they slide it through this way makes it a whole lot easier but once you clear everything you can see how that looks. Headliner's out and it's gone. <sighs> All right, well, I got it. So what we're gonna do now, you can see a little bit of the adhesive there. There's not much adhesive on this at all. We're gonna go ahead and just come to the spots where it's coming off. And we're just gonna start taking all the old stuff off. We want absolutely every bit of this old headliner off this foam pad. So next step is earlier today, I went to Hobby Lobby, what's up dog, and got this headliner material. Let me show you, folks at Hobby Lobby are actually very helpful. So it was originally $12.99 um, a yard. It was on sale for $9.09. So three yards, which is way too much, but better to have too much than not enough was $27.28. So that's not bad at all compared to this particular truck, if you were to get it already manufactured in one piece, would be like $350. Um, so let's get started on putting this on. So you will need some spray adhesive. I got two of these, but one should probably be plenty enough. This is $7.99. This is from Hobby Lobby. I bought a roller. You don't have to do that. It was $8.99, and that's probably going to not have any significance at all. But it may help with uh, smoothing some things out. So if you want one probably should pick one of those two and a husky buy a husky okay so i've laid the headliner out like i said i have about one yard too much of it excess on this side i'm going to try to get it as straight and parallel with the headliner board as you can to keep bubbles like this from forming and just kind of smooth it out as you go so try to smooth it out the best you can before we start applying any sort of adhesive you're not going to get it perfect same thing over here and just kind of work on that. It's kind of hard to get this in a spot where the wind don't blow, but I have moved it. I'm gonna make sure you get all of the excess glue 
in pieces off of there. He'll spray some of the spray adhesive all over the place and then lay it back down and I'll show you what to do next. So while we're doing this in sections, anytime there's an indention, like you see here, we'll spray it really good. Of course, you wanna cover the, uh, the whole area, especially the edges, that's where it likes to come up. When we do that, we wanna roll it down and we'll do this section by section. I've already done up there, I'll show you that in a minute. There's a couple of wrinkles, but I think it'll be all right. This is the, uh, the back part of the tray, back of the truck. So, go around the edges pretty good. You wanna make sure we hit all the areas in between too, especially where the, uh, the indentions are. So the entire headliner's down. It is not perfect by any means. It's also already gotten dirty. These divots here you see are actually divots in the foam. So what we're going to do now is we're coming around the edges See, there's some crinkles here. We don't want those if we can help it. Like I said, this is actually my first time doing this. So it's not easy. But if you could pull on the material, the excess material have and pull those out and then just kind of go over with your hand or if you have a little roller like this, go over and get any crinks and, and crannies you got out of it. If you see a part bubbling up, kind of like it is here, it's all right to spray a little adhesive in there and just put it down and make sure that it has a good clean edge on it. So what I'm doing now is once I got all the kinks out of it for the most part, I'm just trimming the excess off around the edges. That'll take some time, so I won't bore you with all that, but you'll trim the excess off right up against there. We'll tuck the rough edges in, hopefully, if they will. So what I'm doing also is any edges you have that are have a little bit of gap, spray a little adhesive on there, pull it up like this, then when you make your cuts, hold it up the whole time. That'll help it stick to the edge a little better. All right, so now it's time to cut out all the little indentions. It's cut out around the edges. Just make a little hole in it, and then you can stick your scissors in and just go around. Same thing, you may want to spray a little around the edges to keep it, make it stick a little bit better. Okay, so all the holes are cut out. They don't have to be perfect because they're, what goes in them is usually just screws or something that will cover the edges like there. That's not perfect, but anyway, it's not perfect. It's got a couple of creases in it and, uh, there's a few bubbles that were already in the headliner that you can't really fix, but it looks a lot better than it did. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, so she is in there and all done. Just gotta pop in the clips, everything else. One thing I did notice, and I knew this would happen, but the, the visors are tan. So is that piece, the bezel around the headlights, these two and the clips, which I'm not really understanding. Maybe that's a Dodge thing. Maybe this was replaced in the past. That's gonna bug my OCD, so I'm eventually gonna replace all that with gray stuff, I think. But the headliner itself looks so much better in this truck than it did before. Um, if you look back here, there's a couple little creases you can notice, but it's not bad. Just make sure you try to iron out the best you can and replace everything you put back in. I know this wasn't the best tutorial video, but I wanna show you how you could do this relatively cheap. So we do thank you for watching. If you like this video at all, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Consider, subscri Consider subscribing to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one.